Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these two different quadrilaterals with unknown angles x, as you can see over here. And now we are going to solve them one at a time. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first puzzle. And here we got this quadrilateral A, B, C, D such that uh, this angle uh, is uh, 25 degrees, uh, this angle is uh, 50 degrees, whereas this angle is uh, 35 degrees. And moreover, this segment uh, AB is equal to this segment uh, BC. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this angle X. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this angle uh, 50 degrees uh, is uh, twice as this angle uh, which is uh, 25 degrees so therefore let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem according to this theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram here we got uh, our exterior angle uh, c along with these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles uh, a and uh, b such that uh, this angle C equals to A plus B. So therefore we got some point uh, E on this uh, side AD such that I am going to connect uh, this uh, point E with this uh, vertex B such that uh, this angle uh, EBD is going to be equal to this uh, angle uh, EDB. And now we can see that this uh, angle is uh, our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore this angle is going to be 50 degrees if we add uh, these opposite uh, interior angles. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABE. And now we can see that this is uh, an isosceles uh, triangle since this uh, angle is equal to this uh, angle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. And we can see that these uh, two side lengths uh, are congruent. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be same as well. And in this uh, next step, I'm going to connect uh, this point uh, E with this uh, vertex uh, C, as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now let's focus on another triangle. Uh, E, B, C. And now let's go ahead and add uh, these uh, two angles. 25 degrees plus uh, 35 degrees is going to give us uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, E, B, C turns out to be 60 degrees. And also we can see that this uh, triangle is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length. And now let's recall uh, triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. So therefore, in this triangle EBC, this angle is going to be 60 degrees. And this angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, as well. And now we can see all of these uh, angles are uh, 60 degrees each. So therefore this triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. So therefore all these three sides are going to be congruent. And now let's recall the straight angle property. That means this straight angle is going to be 180 degrees. If this angle is 50 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, then this angle has got to be 70 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BED. And we can see that this uh, angle is 25 degrees uh, and this angle is uh, 25 degrees uh, as well. So therefore this is an isosceles uh, triangle. That means uh, this side length uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, side length. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, DEC. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length. And we know that this uh, angle between them is uh, 70 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle 
is going to be equal to this uh, angle since we are dealing with the isosceles triangle and this angle is going to be 55 degrees and this angle is going to be 55 degrees as well and here's our final step we know that this uh, angle is uh, x and this angle is the sum of these uh, two individual angles uh, 55 degrees and uh, 60 degrees so therefore i can write this uh, angle uh, x uh, is going to be equal to 55 degrees plus uh, 60 degrees and if we add uh, this one that is going to give us x equal to 115 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 115 degrees and here's our next quadrilateral a b c d as you can see in this diagram such that this angle is 32 degrees this angle is 16 degrees and this angle is 44 degrees and moreover this segment c d is equal to this uh, segment uh, a b and now we are going to find the value of this uh, angle x so let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on these uh, two angles this angle 32 degrees uh, is uh, twice as uh, this angle which is uh, 16 degrees so therefore we are going to recall once again the exterior angle uh, theorem according to this theorem this exterior angle c is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles in other words angle c equal to a plus b so therefore i have connected some point e on this side ad with this vertex c such that this angle 16 degrees is going to be equal to 16 degrees over here and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AEC. We can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is equal to this angle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. And we can also see that this is our uh, exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles according to this uh, exterior angle uh, theorem. So therefore this exterior angle turns out to be 32 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, another triangle uh, DEC and we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is 32 degrees and this angle is 32 degrees as well. So therefore uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length and since uh, these uh, two side lengths are congruent so therefore I can mark this one as congruent as well. And here's our next step. I have connected this point E with this vertex uh, B. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ABE. And let's uh, add these two angles, some of these two angles, 16 degrees plus uh, 44 degrees uh, is going to give us uh, 60 degrees. And furthermore, this is an isosceles uh, triangle as well, since uh, this uh, side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, is going to be equal to this angle. And we know this angle is 60 degrees. So therefore, these angles are going to be 60 degrees each. Now we can see all uh, these uh, three angles are 60 degrees each. So therefore, this is an equilateral uh, triangle. That means all uh, these three sides are uh, congruent. So therefore, this side uh, EB is congruent as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle EBC. And now let's recall this uh, straight angle uh, property. This is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle turns out to be 88 degrees. If we add all these three angles, uh, that adds up to 180 degrees. And now we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore, uh, this whole angle is going to be equal to this uh, angle and if this angle is 88 degrees then uh, this uh, whole angle is going to be 46 uh, degrees and this angle is going to be 46 degrees uh, as well and now we can see that this uh, whole uh, angle turns out to be 46 uh, degrees and that is uh, equal to 16 degrees plus uh, x 
So therefore I can write uh, angle X plus uh, 16 degrees equal to 46 uh, degrees. So let's go ahead and subtract 16 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our angle X uh, value turns out to be 30 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 30 degrees. So thus in uh, this first uh, quadrilateral ABCD our angle uh, X uh, turns out to be 115 uh, degrees. Whereas in this uh, second quadrilateral ABCD our angle uh, X uh, turns out to be 30 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.